Hello everyone, welcome back to another uh, episode of Iron Man 3, um, the official game. So we're going to be playing this on the iPad today, and we're going to be looking at an armor, um, a really dark armor actually. I I kind of uh, gone ahead and actually looked at this armor before, and it is kind of dark blue, as you can see it's... Um, well, it's navy blue and silver, I assume. But this is the Mark 40 shotgun. And let's take a look at it. Looks at, It looks pretty good. It looks like... Um, I guess, in my opinion, it doesn't look like a justice armor. I'd say uh, a superhero kind of thing. Or it, it looks like a robot, an evil robot, in my opinion from something like Superman or something like that. But it definitely doesn't have the heroic kind of feel, in my opinion. But wow, the back looks pretty cool. But as you can see in the middle, it has, uh, it does have the common Iron Man kind of light coming out of the middle. So this is apparently what they call a high-tech Actually, it says that this is a high-speed supersonic suit with a built-in camouflage system and which offers enhanced repulsive capability. I know that all of the description have something really special, but one of the biggest problems is it's not real. Um, you can't use it in the game. That's what I'm trying to say. But I guess it... They do have a really cool description telling you what the suit does, but you can't use it. Uh, camouflaging, I'm not sure if there is a camouflage button, but uh, I already played through it once. It didn't, so that's my opinion. Anyways, let's start the game. So really dark armor as you can see. The first time I played through it I noticed that the handling on the motion sensor is really good. And that was such a trap, uh, that was a trap item. But the motion sensor, if you like using that uh, mode, it's really good on this uh, suit. I don't know why, but it's really maneuverable, I'd say. So this suit is part of the frost charge line of... Uh, armor which means that it will have a freezing super when you use it as you can see at the bottom left corner We're at 10,000 um, miles away, I think. Whoa. Ouch. Okay, so this is the Frost Charge, which is the Super. Oh. 
And this is a fusion charge. This is a really cool um thing. I guess they get, he gets kind of a boost. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't make a difference which suit you use. Actually, it's the exact same thing. It does the exact same thing. Okay, so the iPad kind of went out of a uh, whack there. Actually, the iPad is pretty heavy. If you're using a, the 10-inch iPad or the 9-inch iPad, um, in motion sensor mode, you have one hand you're holding it. You can hold it with two hands, but how are you going to attack? So you, you have to basically use it with one hand. And we're going to use another super here as we get closer. Wham! So that, that took everyone out. But, so going back, um, the iPad is pretty heavy. If you're using the big iPad, iPad mini is probably easier, iPhone easier, um, or maybe an Android device. And 7 inch device are uh, lighter, you can play with one hand and swipe with the other. Now if you're holding the big iPad, it's really difficult. So I went out of uh, whack somewhere around there previously and a bit now out so we are at 35 miles and we're gonna fight a boss so this guy has like one big head I'm not sure anyone in the show can actually float around like that I guess even in the movie but his head is essentially <laughs> bigger than... Okay, gotta dodge this. Remember, uh, swiping and dodging at the same time requires you to have motion sensor mode on. So he isn't as powerful as... I mean, the armor isn't as powerful as uh, the Silver Centurion or the... The last one, the Igor armor. But we're down to 18% health and I'm pretty sure we're going to start dying pretty soon. Okay, we're still flying all around here and we're gonna try to see how far we're gonna get before we actually get taken out. Okay, well that one hit took off about 13% health. So the armor is pretty weak against attacks. Ouch, okay, so... That ends it. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. See ya.